hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is going to be my first tutorial of 2020 this is a 90s blue inspired glam i really am super obsessed with the way this look turned out so this is going to be just a quick talk through and i'm going to play some cute music bye guys i love you So right here I am just filling in my eyebrows with my go-to brow pencil, my LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Pencil in the shade Blackest Brown. I am starting to fill my brows in a little bit more just because this look was super full glam. I wanted them to be a little more defined more than usual. So I just did that. And now we're going in with some concealer just to clean up the brow and to blank out the lid. So for the entire look, I used my Essence eyeshadow palette. It's called the Crystal Ice Palette. And we're starting out with that medium blue shade. And I really wanted to create a soft cut crease. So I'm creating definition from the middle of my eye, working towards my nose. And this is how we're just starting out the shape. You just slowly build up the color until it's as intense as you'd like. So now I'm taking that lighter blue and I'm just going to slowly diffuse out the transition color that I originally laid down and notice that I'm using majority of this shadow on the end of my eye because I'm going to start to create that wing like effect. I really just wanted this eye look to be really blown out and really, really pretty. So now we're taking that dark navy shade and I'm going to go in with a flat shader brush and I'm really starting to define the eye to really create that crease. Notice you do not have to use concealer to cut a crease. I really um, urge you guys to try this technique if you're a beginner because it's super easy and I'm just going in with the navy shadow until it's as dark as I'd like it to be. Now we're picking up the shade Culotta from the palette and this is just a really icy shimmery blue and we are filling in the lid with this shade. It's super pretty and I'm getting a really small brush to really get up to where I cut the crease so I can start filling it in from there because I still want it to look really precise. I really love this shade. This palette was like $10, very affordable and it's actually really pigmented and it's really easy to work with. So right here we're going in with the navy shade again and I wanted to create my line on my eye for my liner before I actually um, did my skin all the way. It's just easier for me to do my skin and then create the wing but whatever preference works for you guys just do that. This is the Huda Beauty foundation. This is my new go-to foundation. It's full coverage, buildable and I just love the way it feels on my skin. It's lightweight and it's bomb. Now, I will say I don't think my skin is reacting the best to it. It may be the fragrance or the formula, but I'm just going to have to roll with it because 
I really, really love this foundation. It is so bomb. Huda, you did an amazing job. Like, just take the fragrance away. Other than that, it's bomb. Now, sis is going in with not one, but two concealers because I wanted my skin to look perfect. I went in with the ColourPop concealer, and then I went in with the Morphe concealer right underneath my eye for some brightness, but I love the combination of both of these concealers. The ColourPop one is like a medium coverage, and then the Morphe is like full coverage, and they both dry down to like a soft matte finish, so it is like the perfect combination. And I pray you guys are having an amazing year. It's 2020. Let's get it, you guys. I want you guys to ask God for the desires of your heart. I dare you to because I bet, I promise he's going to do what you want. Put his word before him. Say, God, you said if I ask anything in your name, you will do it. You will give me the desires of my heart that just shall be delivered. You help those who in need like he will do whatever you guys want like i promise you like he's just waiting so please do that this year if you do anything just ask big like he's waiting and he wants us to ask him for whatever it is that we need and he already did it anyway so just come on like he's waiting on you like i just love talking about god because he just keeps blowing my mind and i just want to make him as famous as possible and I don't know. It helps me when I just wake up. And I thought about this. I heard somebody say, like, talk to God like he's your friend. So I'll wake up and be like, what's up, God? You know, thank you for waking me up. Let your account prevail over this entire day. Help me with this situation. Tell me what to say, how to carry myself. And it's just so easy knowing that you can talk to him throughout the entire day. And he's right there with you. And I promise he talks back. You just got to listen. So that's just a little help. But I just want to drop that little knowledge because. I promise you, he does not want you to go through anything alone, guys. So just hear me out. Like, can we just take a moment on how bomb this look is? Like, who am I using color? I never use color like that, but I'm really inspired because I feel like now that I know that I can make color look wearable and just me being more open to new ideas, I really want to start working with color a lot. I'm usually just a really neutral girl, but I'm like, you know what? I can make this work, and I really come on like y'all know this look is bomb i really did that so it's just yeah this look is bomb this is a wet and wild mascara i love it it's really cute really affordable i'm not the biggest fan on having to go out and buy like an expensive mascara because i do wear fake eyelashes duh so i really don't feel a need to just go out and buy like a 25 dollar mascara it gets the job done and it works so yeah and I will make sure I drop down all the products that I use in the description box below. Uh, glam check. When you start to feel the effects of glam, sis, yes. Like, honey, where are we going tonight? Where are we going? So now we are about to start the bronzing process. Like, oh my gosh, I have to have bronzer because it adds so much depth to your face and it just balances everything out. Like, this is my favorite contour kit. Well, this is really the bronzer, but I will go in with a contour in a little bit. But this black radiance is like OG. Like, I will repurchase this palette a thousand times until I have my own makeup brand and make something better. But I love this product warming up the temples, the cheekbones, the chin, everything, honey, because we're going to be snatched in 2020, and I haven't found another blush that I really like besides this ABH blush trio, but you guys comment down below like some pretty pinky, peachy blushes, and I will go out and try them because I use this in like every tutorial, but it never does me wrong, so until then, I'm going to be using this. Now we're going in with the Becca bronzer in the shade Ipanema Sun and this is my contour shade and I really just place this in the hollows of my cheeks just to really give a really nice structure to the face. The formula of this is super smooth and soft. Becca always comes through with the skin products. So now we're going in with our Huda Beauty. Blah, blah, blah. 
Huda Beauty. I wish I would edit that out. Like, oh well, I'm not perfect. But this is a Huda Beauty loose powder in the shade Blondie. And I really have been liking the effect of cleaning up my bronzer. It just makes everything look super sharp. So whenever I do full glam, I really love this trick. It just makes you look so snatched. And now we're going in with some highlighter. I don't remember what highlighter I used, but I will list it down below. Now we are starting our lip concoction because you know it's about to be bomb. So this is the ColourPop Lip Liner in the shade BFF3. This is the collection that Makeup Shayla did with them and this has become one of my OG lip liners. It is a little bit of a darker chocolate brown but I don't mind it. And it's also really pretty when you mix it with colors or sometimes I'll lay down a lighter liner and just go over with this too make it darker but this is cute i was trying to do a lip tutorial right there you guys this is a full-time job it's not hard it looks easy what influencers and makeup artists do but it is a lot of work behind the scenes that you guys do not see like i'm trying to do my best and really just get into this world and just really understand the ins and out and it's really fun i'm really loving the process so now we're going in with a liquid lipstick this was probably abh pure hollywood or naked mm, i'll list that down below as well these are the best creaseless hair clips these are by conair and you can pick them up at walgreens target or just order them online but i will list them in the description box below i use these in all my tutorials and every time i'm getting ready I'm just setting the skin with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. I forgot how much I love this as a setter because it's not as harsh as actual makeup setting sprays, but it still does break down on everything on top of the skin and just make everything look natural. But this is the look, you guys. The next couple seconds or minute is just about to be footage of me just being extra and super glam and just me being me, but this is why I do what I do. I'm a glam girl and I love it pray you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you comment like and subscribe and ask god for the desires of your heart come on y'all let's do it big i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye